Hello everybody, today in this video I will make another check on this battery. This battery is this zinc manganese battery with this salt bridge cell construction. And yeah, this battery right now is sitting on this table for more than two weeks. To be a little bit more precise, I think it is 17 days, something like this. I also need to add a little bit of water on each container because all the electrolyte is almost evaporated completely. For this reason I add a little bit of fresh water in each container and that's it. This is the only thing which I do to this cell in these 17 days. Uh, so the point is that on the first day when I make this battery I get the voltage of 2.05 volts. And now I will see what voltage I will get after more than two weeks. And actually I get the voltage of 2.01 volts, which is really, really interesting. So, of course, the problem is that uh, this kind of cell is open and for this reason the electrolyte will evaporate. Uh, I need to make some closet housing that the electrolyte will not evaporate. Um, so, this kind of cell construction, which is this salt bridge cell construction, two containers which are connected with this salt bridge is really useful not only for this kind of battery but it's also useful for zinc bromide or zinc iodine battery because with this cell design I don't get any diffusion and also the zinc dendrites are not a problem in this case but like I said in the beginning here I have this zinc manganese battery which have the voltage of 2 volts uh, and yeah the only thing what I need to do, I need to make some closet cell and then I need to make some cell discharge for 30 days. And here I have the cell housing which can fit with this zinc manganese battery chemistry. This is the base. Here I have two containers and this will be the top. And the plastic which I use is PLA because I already test this PLA plastic with this electrolyte which is used in the zinc manganese battery and actually I don't get any damage of the plastic for this reason I will use PLA for the housing and here I have everything what I need so here I have the positive current collector which is some graph hole. Uh, on this graph hole I will put some graphitic felt 
Uh, the negative electrode is simply some zinc. Uh, the separator, I mean, the salt bridge will be made from uh, filter paper, several filter papers. Uh, and here I also have some spacers because the holes are a little bit big. That's why for this case I need to put some spacers that uh, I will get much more fixed uh, electrodes. And now first I will put the paper here on the middle like so this will be the negative side I will also use two spacers Here I have some oasis foams. I will try to fill in the empty space. Okay, finally I seal this housing with this 5 minute epoxy. Uh, now I charge this zinc manganese battery and after charging I will leave this uh, closet cell for about, I don't know, 30 days to see what self discharge I will get after 30 days. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.